Hello everyone, it's me again, English lesson year 6 with Puan Nur Ayu. As usual, we are still going to look into unit 4 and the title is Step Up. Before we begin, make sure you have your English textbook and your PDPR module with you. For today, you may refer to your textbook page 38 until page 39. The learning objective for today is, by the end of this lesson, pupils will be able to complete sentences using the correct relative pronouns who, whom, and which. There are three relative pronouns that we're going to learn today. The first one is who, the second one is wish, and next one is whom. Who Subject or object pronoun for people. So you have to remember, who refers to people. One more thing is, who comes before the verb. Let's look at the example. You may refer to your textbook as well. The man who lives in the bungalow is my uncle. So the word here is referring to the man. So who refers to people? And as you can see, who comes before the verb? Who comes before the verb lives? For this sentence, the verb here is lives. Whom? Whom is used for object pronoun for people, especially in non-restrictive clauses. But in restrictive clauses, we use who. So you have to understand whom also is referring to people, just like who. But the difference is whom is uh, used for object pronoun. The people as an object. And one more thing is whom comes after the first verb. Not like who. Who comes before verb. So whom is different from who. Let's look at the example. They hired a man whom we interviewed yesterday. So the subject here is they. And the object is the man. That's why we use whom. Because we have the object pronoun for people. Wish. Subject or object pronoun for animals or things. So, wish is easy. It is for animals or things. Let's look at the example. The car which my brother was driving last night was my father's. So, we use wish because the car is a thing. Okay? Before we stop, I want you to complete all the exercises in your module. Alright? Try to use who, which, and whom correctly. I think that's all for today. Thank you and see you in the next lesson.